Good evening, everybody. How are we doing today? Um, I'm doing pretty well. Um, hey, Hill, thank you for the, uh, that's your fifth month now. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. That's incredibly kind. Um, I mean, I've only been streaming for seven months, so that, that is, that is a huge thing. Um, stealth. Stealth, I, hmm. I hope the zero energy is just because you're tired, because that, that's fine. Um, I hope it's nothing more than that, because, I mean, you're a rad person. So, uh, if you're, if you're feeling shitty, just know that you are loved, and it's just your, ba your brain lying to you. Um, if you're just tired, then, honestly, that's just shit that happens. But, thank you for being here. All of you. Um, we're going to get back to, uh, to Shining Force. Uh, I continue to enjoy this game. It's such a nostalgia trip for me. Uh, I, I will let you know... It it gets tough later. There are some uh, there are some fights coming up in a while that just kick my ass every time I play, but they're still good. Um, yeah, naps are not always an option. Um, so let's get this terrible party started. Let's get some music. Uh, so. Last stream, uh, we made it to the bird city of Bado, uh, where we met, uh, where we met with King Bado, and he told us to go see the god Vulcan, uh, who has been in something of a bad mood since you know he was attacked by actual devils. Um, and uh, yeah, now we're going to see him between streams. Uh, just to let you know, I quickly ran back to the starting village because I didn't want to waste time on, uh, on stream doing it in order to pick up an important item that I had missed. Um, no, one's, no one's earned sparkles yet. Sparkles have to be earned. Uh, so just so everybody knows, I picked up, um, I picked up an item called the Warrior Pride, which does... Nothing, but it is useful. Current status. Two finals and one final project down, one final and one final project to go. That's... that's okay. That's that's actually pretty good status still. Um, when is your next... when are your final and final project uh, happening? Ooh, I forgot this music. I like this music. This is a sacred area. Volcanon's shrine is here. Devils? They can't enter the shrine. Um... Yo, I'd forgotten that view. You know, for being kind of shitty pixel art, this game has some pretty nice views sometimes. Um, there was something behind the tower before. So I'm just gonna check if there's anything back here. Doesn't look like it. Well, yeah, it, it's good pixel art. It's just... Um, especially like the, like the portraits are very high quality, but if you look at the, uh, the field sprites are kind of blocky. But yeah, this is something that really frustrates me. When there's something like this in a grid-based system that is too wide. Because, well, any even number. Because I want to go through the middle. Son of a bitch. This shrine was built on top of the mountain to watch over everything. You know the legend of the phoenix? 
phoenix of the legendary bird who can't be killed. It is life itself. When his first life is nearly over, he bursts into holy fire to finish it. The fire creates another life for the phoenix on the ground. Um, Saturday final on Will's Trust in the States. And your final contract nego negotiation and drafting assignment is due next Tuesday. Technically Wednesday, but I turn things in early as a rule. That's a good rule still. Um, trust me, as a teacher, the people who handed things in... Uh, even just like an hour or two early. They always kind of got bumped up my priority list. If you hand it in early, I'm more likely to want to grade it early. Um, your transactions was yesterday night. Oof. Okay, that's right. Um, yes, handing in late is terrible for him. Um, but even, even like technically on time, you want to slightly avoid. If you can do it even just a little bit early, don't, don't be the person who hands it in one minute before closing time. Because as a teacher, that always makes me think that you... I don't know. It always makes me feel like you rushed it much more than if you hand it in. Even an hour early tells me, okay, this person finished and they handed it in. <sighs> God, Vulcanon, I'm back. I wish you could see more of this dude. But, can we agree? That's fucking rad. Giant black bird with a red eye. It's hatched egg sitting before it. Oh, I, I know, Kale. I never negatively judged people for handing in on time. But I always felt better about the people who handed in early. Welcome back, Peter. You look well. Yes, I am. This trip was very interesting. That's good. What made it interesting? Juice! Fuck my snacks! God, juice, no! I just got those snacks. I mean, I don't care about the door. I met a lot of people that live on the ground. Yeah, most people do. Uh, tangentially related, I've been trying to figure out what makes some Pokemon legendary, primarily Ho-Oh. Uh, my favorite fact about Ho-Oh is he was the uh, he is the first legendary seen in the anime. Doesn't Ho-Oh like grant wishes? Which would make him pretty fucking legendary. Uh, they help each other. I made some friends. Wonderful. It must have been a good experience for you. I brought a friend. This is Bumpus. His parents were drunk when they named him. He's from Grand City. Grand Seal! People of Grand's Island caused a serious, deadly problem for the world. Vulcanon? They awakened Zeon, a legendary devil. I've been protecting all the ground-dwelling people. I can't forgive them for this. Vulcanon, please calm down. But this is not the person who did it. Everybody who lives on the ground is responsible. They have to solve this by themselves. What should Bimpus do? My protection ceases now. He must face the devils on his own. Sir, I am a child. Fifteen minutes ago, I had a wooden sword, which is to say, a fancy stick. Please don't put this on my shoulders. But even the 
greater devils are as strong as you. If all the humans are annihilated, that's okay. It's their destiny. Yo, fuck you. I want them to show me courage. Bimpus got a bim. They must reseal the devil again. Then please give some advice to Bimpus. Bimpus, believe in the power of the jewel. It belongs to both the light and the darkness. It shows its true power when the light and the darkness are as one. I don't remember, but this feels very much like like it's foreshadowing solar eclipse shenanigans. You may go now. I don't want to see anybody until Zeon is defeated. Vulcanon! Bimpus, we'll defeat that devil by ourselves. I didn't know if he was such a cold-hearted guy. Okay, I'll help you. I'll go with you to reseal the devil. Peter the technically not Phoenix, he is a Phoenix, has joined the force. Um Sorry, Gail, I will read what you said about gold and silver. I just wanted to get through that. Yeah, uh, gold and silver are like, Ludia is the master of oceanic storms, creates hurricanes over the world, as well as being the master of Kanto's legendary birds. And here's a colorful chicken that makes you feel good. Um, yeah, Peter the Phoenix. Um... Even though Peter was with us before, he wasn't technically a party member. Um, now he is, which means we control him, which I like. But yeah, I do like that this dude's just like, fuck humans, you'll deserve to die. I'm sorry, Cahill. Do, do, do you not like our fucking... Turkey with an afro? It's always the afro that gets to me. Like, these characters are fine. Bumpus is just child. Sarah is Goral. Chester is Jock. Jaha is fat. Like, you can't see much, but he's definitely a chub. Kazan is just too good for this world. Fuck Slade. Uh, Yabi is the purest thing ever. And then May is a cutie pie. Uh, okay, they don't have anything new to say. You know, I was convinced there was going to be a fight out here, and there totally wasn't. God Vulcanon has forsaken the people of the Earth. Are you going to kill Zian as he demanded? I mean, I'll fucking try. You're a man of honor. Why don't you go see Creed? He's an ex-greater devil. He may give you some information. You must travel along the river to get to Creed's mansion. Maybe Polka has a raft for you. Tell the mayor to prepare a raft. Yes, sir. Peter, please help Bimpus. Bimpus, good luck. You can't calm down Volcano. That is protection. The people that live on the ground will perish. Only Tristan and Bado will survive. Something happened in North Parmesia. I saw a strange cloud. Goddess Matula lives on the north side of Tristan through the mountains. People living in Tristan are kind, but weak. I wonder if they're alright. What? 
Got a weird lag spike there. Which, I know this is an emulator, but it's also emulating like a game from, I think, 94? So I'm not sure why I got a lag spike. Well, isn't this interesting? I got a bunch of new weapons, but there was no combat. Well, don't worry. I bet there's not going to be any combat further ahead. But those soldiers are cowards. Oop. Be quiet. Fucking rip. Just like instant. Okay, Hill. The cheeky comments will continue. I ain't stopping. My comrades! You're our captive. Don't force me to kill you. No more funny business. You can't resist us. Now, give me that injured boy. Don't listen to him! Fuck yes. This dude is the absolute best. God, I love him. If I remember correctly, he's not even like super, super powerful. He's just rad. Oh my God. He was a himbo before people used the term himbo. He's nice, he's incredibly dumb. And he is strong. I'll help you fight against the devils and God... Adler? You! Oh, Bumpus! Peter! Cahill, I hate you. You're right, but I hate you. Luke, why are you here? I got you so came here to get a rap for you. The people of Polka are being controlled by these devils. They deceived me. You know... I don't... I don't 100% like how much... How much exposed skin these minotaurs have. Prince Luke, I'm sorry. Vulcans will not fight. Please, let me join you. Fucking Geralt the Wolfman has joined the force. Right, Cahill? Fucking Wolfman right off the bat. This game does not fuck around. Great. Don't forget me. Fucking rip. You still dare to resist us? For that, you shall die. Okay, let's take a look at the battlefield. So, <laughs> he's not dead. Yes, so, the, oh God, you know, we could just call him a wife man. So we've got a hop goblin, we've got a zombie. We haven't seen a zombie before. Uh, Death Archer, we saw one of those before. I uh, actually really like this setup. This is the first time we fought, like, just like in a town, and it's such an interesting arrangement. Zombie, evil cloud. No, um, you, we actually meet him before, um, and he, he, he explains that he's a wolf man. Now, when we get to it, I will mention something about his promoted class, which 
Like, I think my name for it is way better than the official name. Uh, Evil Cloud, Death Archer. We've got a Black Monk and a Master Mage. So, yeah, there's, there's quite a few guns. Um, let's send Jaha out in front. Okay, the, this pisses me off. So, Kazan. Kazan's class is Mage. However, M-A-G-E doesn't mean Mage. According to the manual, Kazan's class is Magician. They, they literally had the opportunity to just call him a mage, and that wasn't good enough. And it pisses me off. Uh, Kazan, stay back a little bit, because otherwise you are actually going to die. Uh, Geralt is a bit of a glass cannon. Uh, not a ton of defense, but generally pretty good attack. Um, you've been balloon grinding in Animal Crossing New Horizons. You finally got the Christmas tree. I'm so glad, Juice. And in plenty of time for, you know, Christmas. Uh, is there stuff down this way? There is. So I'm going to need something of a front on this side as well. And I'm putting Slade there mostly because I don't care if Slade dies. Um, so. There's Slade. There's Bumpus. But if I get the timing right... It looks like Bumpus is wearing fucking cat ears. Tell me he doesn't have cat ear headphones. Because that's what I'm seeing. And now I can actually control Peter, which is rad. Uh, since he's flying, he can go to spots that other people can't go. Um, he consistently has zero land effect, except in a few, uh, in like, unlike grass, he does have some effect, but most places affect him by zero, which means he gets no defense boost, but neither does anyone else. Uh, May, yeah, May, you can just stick there. I want to move a little bit slowly. Got how slow Yabby is. Um, do I do it? I think I do. Oof, only nine damage. I may have made a huge mistake. He's got his rad new steel lance. 10 damage is solid. Um, I'll take a little bit of a risk with Kazu. She should be able to... Uh, he should be able to do 8 damage with Blaze. Fuck. This is mostly just to stop Chasm getting wrecked by the Hobgoblin. Look at Bimbus's sword! That's so fucking cool. 14 damage is not enough. Can you deal 7 damage? You can! I mean, that's actually a solid crit. 
Good job. No one needs healing yet, which is solid. Unsurprisingly, zombies tend to go pretty late in the turn order. Not late enough. And there's the problem. Even against a tank, they deal solid damage. But this should be... I'm pretty sure even May can deal one damage. I say even May. May's actually been pretty solid, and she's got an updated weapon now. Nice. No particularly special increases, but still good. Um, so we've still got two people down here. But the problem is there's nothing like... I suppose I could send a couple of people there to wrap around. Yeah. I'll send Jaha, Geralt, and Yabi to wrap around that side while everyone else comes this way. Um. You know, I'll send Peter as well. Peter's, Peter's kind of a beast. Um, he's one of the highest damage dealers at this point. And because he's a phoenix, you don't actually need to worry about him dying. Um, he resurrects automatically after every battle. One of his best features. Fuck! Zombies have a bigger movement range than I would have expected. Uh, risk worth taking. You know, May dealt. May is dealing more damage to zombies than Java, who is our tank. That's kind of surprising. Uh, there's no way to get close, unfortunately. So let's do heal level 2 and fix Jaha up before he dies. Okay, heal. That is, that is actually valid. It is two cans. God, your username is so good. I always forget how good your username is. Omega low. God, Peter is just the chat of this group. Go God mode. <laughs> no, here's the thing, Kato. Every time you hit them, you could have killed. The rolls were just going going against you. Level 12. But he's over 13 now. Okay. This is the first time we've seen Geralt fight.
do just fucking punches and deal 17 damage? With the fucking punch, he deals more damage than uh, than Jaha managed to deal on a crit. He's a glass cannon, but god, it's worth it. Um, thank you, Stealth, for redeeming Rainbow Cake. And is there anything super dangerous down here? Not close. Uh, you know what? I haven't done Muddle. I think Muddle is basically Confusion. Which, on these very tough dudes, might be worth it. Cool! So that went well. I mean, the zombie's gonna fuck you up now, so, you know, that's a problem. Uh, actually, this dude is still... Heck. This dude is still the most dangerous here. I was worried he was going to kill Kazan. Who really can't take it. Ah. Later on, um, May gets, or May can get, a longer attack range. Um, but for now, there's no way to get close enough. You know what, honestly, fuck Slade. He can survive one more attack. And he does good damage. sending these dudes down here. I mean, fucking Geralt can probably just sweep this. Um, but realistically, yeah. Let's, let's do that. Good job, Chester. level 15 so once characters reach level 20 they can be promoted uh, it's generally actually a good idea to hold off on promotion not do it immediately fucking what has attacked on this turn. So might as well at least hurt him a little. Uh, 
and six damage is not nothing. Um, there's a strong, there's a bunch of tough peeps around here. Uh, let's get May take down the hot dog. for Bimpus is rad. Oh my god, please heal Kazan. You know what, Slade? Fine. You've actually kind of proven yourself. Slade honestly gets so much better. Um, it takes him a while to get there. But when he gets better, he gets so much better. Uh, is there anybody more on this side? Nope. Okay. You can start getting Peter what, and everyone else down there. Chester continues to be just the best thing. Impressive range, though. The thing with Chester and Bimpus as well is they've just got such, such good HP that even when they do take, like, the same damage as other characters, it doesn't hurt them as much. Uh, is it worth dealing 6 damage? Or... It's only 2 HP. Yeah, it's worth it. Just make it that much easier for... Probably Bumpus and Chester to... scared that Slade's going to die, but this is also how Slade levels up, and if I can get Slade to be promoted, it'll be so worth it. Level 15. It'll still be a while before anyone gets promoted, but we're getting closer. I have foolishly left Slade in a position where he needs healing from a long range. I don't have as many heals left as I'd like. Here's the thing, Cahill. I maintain that Slade kinda fucking deserves it. Look, Slade is the reason all of this shit happened. All of it. He, he broke the seal in the first place. And yes, I know he's like trying to redeem himself. But also, this is literally actually his fault. Hmm. 
Fuck! But that is a good dodging animation. Uh, Slade, maybe be a bit cautious. Yeah, even though I haven't been cautious, I'm gonna kind of hold back a little bit. Oh my god, that was just an attack. That wasn't magic or anything. Yeah, this fight is honestly pretty rough. No, 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 no. Juice. Bimpus is not a sad man. Bimpus is the sad man. He is the one who can bring you a dream. Fuck! Bringing them around the side was a huge mistake. Oh my god. You know what? Bimpus definitely can. In fact, Bimpus loves you too much ever to say no. Fuck yes, May with the second attack. It's going well. Um. Okay. So Bumpus fucking needs to be healed stat. I'm so sad I missed the end of your... Uh, the end of your portal stream, Zach. Chester's dead? No. I don't know why he cast Blast. A standard attack would have killed, I think. Um. You know what? I have to accept that some people are... Some people are probably going to die. As long as Bumpus stays alive, we can win. But yeah, this is going badly. Oh my god, Peter, you survived! Dodge, you son of a bitch! Yo, that's not a bad idea, Cahill. Do 14 damage at least. Good boy, Vimpus. Okay, Chester, get the fuck out of there. Yo, Bubbles, how goes? Things are not great for me. In game, at least. Things are fine, IRL. Um, you know, cousin. Take one for the team, BB. It's not the most damage. But it's, it's the best way to hit multiple people at once. Oh, 
Chasm's also kind of under-leveled, I just realized. Learn Dispel. Uh, which is... I remember vaguely useful. May probably can't kill, but maybe she'll get a second attack. Everything perks. Yeah, you haven't really been sleeping much, have you, Bubbles? Oh my god, May! With the second attack and a crit? This is why I love May. Um, Bubbles is... Uh, have you have you actually submitted your paper yet? Um, but I hope you can submit it soon. That you can just kind of get all this done. The first draft was all you needed to get in by this point though, right? I mean, yeah, first draft are unfinished. That's kind of what makes them first draft. Eh, healthiest in some sense. Um, I probably have the healthiest sleep pattern, but, like, I've got a real shitty diet, and I never exercise. Um, so, yeah, there, there are different kinds of healthy. And in terms of that, in terms of sleep pattern, yes, I think I can say that confidently. Look, legit bubbles, you say that to most, to most good teachers, and yeah, they will be understanding, because they're human beings, they understand you're a human being, they'll take that into account. Legit, they don't want you to kill yourself. I know it's stealth, but also you don't know what I consume. <laughs> um, this isn't a contest to see who's the least healthy. I'm just saying, like, I'm not healthy in gym. I've got a healthy sleep pattern, but um, that's kind of where health stops for me. Fuck! Oh! Oh, Sarah's dead. I'm so happy this isn't Fire Emblem. Slade's alive! Look, honestly, it's late enough in the game that... Uh, in, in, in this battle that I can actually survive um, a single... a single loss like that. And these dudes are just fucking lined up ready for Blaze level 2. Which at least gets rid of one of them. No! How it goes? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Fortunately, there is no... There is no permadeath. Um... Uh... You know what? One HP? Fuck it. No, no, no. Um, it does, uh, it does cost to bring people back to life, but they can be brought back to life. The the the, the mage was the main dude, so taking him down took out everyone else. Uh, I I did. I didn't understand it. It seemed slightly nude, um, but that might just be me. Luke, are you okay? Luke! Ugh, they knocked me senseless. I, I don't know, Niv. There were just... There were a lot of half-naked men wrangling. Where are the devils? Bimpus, did you defeat them? You know what? I hate to admit, fucking Slade beat them at the end. Nobody in Bado can fight like that. Thank you. He's a great fighter. Volcanon doesn't know how good he is. 
I... I don't know that, Toucan. I'm gonna have to look that up. I mean, I assume they were half-naked. It's Jojo, so I'm... It's, like, that's most of the time, right? You'll learn. Let's go see the mayor and get a raft. Lupus decides to take Luke the Bad Man with him. Okay. I mean... Look, two cats. That is not a requirement for me to play a game. Uh, okay. Sarah is exhausted. Exhausted, they call it. Um, I can recall the song. It will cost 120 gold coins. Uh, so, part of the problem um, that I'm having with Sarah and Kazin, more so Sarah, is even though she's pretty good at this point, she is still under level. Rip Bubbles, I wish I could send you $120 and you'd suddenly be better. Sarah is revived. Uh, was that everybody? Legit, Sarah was the only one who ended up dying? That's amazing. Um, does anybody need to be cured of anything? You know what, in spite of that slight fuck up at the end, um, and honestly sending some of my strongest fighters around the back is a terrible mistake. Um, but honestly, that went okay. Uh, let's, let's take a look at Geralt. It's interesting, so many of the characters that you get sort of later in the game uh, well, not later. That so many of the characters we've got recently just have no weapons. Um, which is cool, because it means they... Um, it means they're good for basically inventory. Uh, Yavi, Peter, and Geralt all have no weapons. Yes, Yavi is baby. You saw Vulcanon? Are you serious? I've never met him, though I've lived here all my life. Yeah. And then he told me that it's literally my responsibility to, like, save the world. Um. Is that, like, Vul... You're not a hunt... I don't think it's just Vulcanon, but I hate how close you are. And I can't quite remember the name. Volcarona. Who are you? Excuse me, but I'm blind. This is the kid who got blinded in the last episode and kind of came down the mountain. Please take that boy with you. Don't kill me. Please take him! Ah! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, don't possess me! What's he talking about? I don't know, what a loon. Come on, Mayor, we're alive. What? The Mayor examines Luke carefully. Volcanion. Yes, Volcanion. That's super close to Volcanon. You're warm. You're alive. I really regret all of this. Suddenly the devils appear. We have no power to resist them. They promised they would do nothing if we gave Oddler to them. And you sent me in Oddler's place? I'm sorry! Please don't tell King Bado. It's such a fucking coward. Hey, 
Hey, Bubbles! That's something I feel. That's such a fucking mood. Alright, I won't. If you prepare a raft for Bimpus. Oh, thank you! A raft, okay. Hey, Ripster! What a fucking name. Yes. Prepare a raft for Prince Luke. But it's the last one we have. I don't care. You can make another if necessary, can't you? Yes, sir. The raft will be waiting for you on the river. Why don't you take a look at it right now? Like, right now. Please fuck off and leave. Who wants to get rid of us? You're right. Anyway, now we have a raft. Let's go! Fucking mayor. Just a minute. If it's possible. Please take this boy with you. You lazy human. You don't want to take care of him. I... Er... Bimpus, will you take him with us? You know what? Sure. Are you serious? Bimpus, you're too nice. Oh, thank you. Adler, Bimpus will take you. You can trust him. I met him five minutes ago. Thank you very much. Fucking just yeet straight on his face. Watch out, be careful. Yes, I will. I'm Adler. I was nearly dead when I came here. Actually, I don't remember. I don't know the reason why the devils are after me. I'm afraid I'll cause you a lot of trouble. So, here's a fun fact. I've played this game more than once. I also don't remember why they were after Adler. Um, so it's going to be a fun reveal for me as well. Um, so yeah, we're getting something of an entourage now. Now, let's go to Devil's Tale to see Creed. Sounds like Luke is going with us. I am. I want to fight with Bumpus. This might be exciting. Officially Birdman, but I prefer Badman. Didn't know you were such an adventurer. All right, ah, let's go. So now we can travel on the river, and it kind of helps open up parts of the world. Um, unfortunately, some of the places where we might want to go, especially kind of further back. We are still limited because of this bridge. Um, by the way, I don't think it's necessarily negative when a game is linear. Um, but this game keeps kind of promising uh, a level of non-linearity that it doesn't quite deliver on. Um, this area, unfortunately, no, there is not. Um, there are a couple of hidden spots in the game, but I don't think any of them is here. Interestingly, this is a place we've been before. So this connects back to that town with the tree, where everyone is super suspicious of us. So that's a nice shortcut.
and it means if we want to go back to our hometown, it's a much shorter trip now. But we have very little to do there. We need to follow the river to Devil's Tail. Um, I remember this being... Yeah, we can't do much there yet. So previously we were forced to go this way. But now we can explore to the south a little bit. Excuse me already? Is this what I think it is? Huh? The raft stopped. Did the water stop flowing? What's happening? Is this seriously already happening? I thought this was, this was way later. I mean, prepare yourselves. Wow, what's that? Bimpus, look over there. Fucking Kraken. Monster, it appeared from the river. This is actually kind of cool. I remember this, but I remember it being much later. It must be the monster they mentioned in Polka. Watch out! So, yeah. There are Kraken legs. Kraken arms. And the Kraken head. Unsurprisingly, Destroying the Kraken head is is how you win the fight. Um, everything else just reduces his ability to hurt you. But it's a tough fight because apart from your two flyers, um, Luke and Peter, and spoiler alert, hey, Luke is kind of shitty. Um, he's okay at this point. He just doesn't keep up. Apart from your two fighters, there's there's not a lot. Now uh, there's not a lot you can do in terms of mobility, so it's an interesting fight, and I think it actually ends up being one of the more memorable ones. Um, uh, Killian, um, welcome, and yes, the Kraken fight. It ends up being one of the more memorable ones simply because of the fact that it's very different to anything you've done so far. Um, Cassin, let's keep you at a slight distance. Uh, I want my strongest fighters arranged around the edge. Um, yeah, Luke just... Luke's okay. Fucking! I was wrong. It looks that way. Well, rip Luke. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong, Killian. It looks like shit is going rapidly southward. Um, you know what, Slade, you stay back. May you stay there, that's exactly where you're meant to be. Same with you. Fucking! I had forgotten how hard this thing hits. You know what, Yabi? Because you're such a weird tank, you're actually a great person to have up front. Okay, Luke, you're probably going to die, but maybe you can deal some damage first. Fucking one damage? Oh my god. I had forgotten. I had entirely forgotten that this fight is impossible. I mean, clearly it isn't actually. But also it kind of feels like it. 
I mean, at least at the moment, he definitely is. Uh, magic is good here, mostly because magic does kind of a fixed amount of damage. Um, unsurprisingly, fire is not as effective against the water monster, but... Okay, Geralt, how much can you punch for? Eh! Not as much as I would have liked. Rip Luke forever. Fucking 30 damage. So, Geralt. Let's try to keep you alive for at least another turn. Um... I forgot to upgrade Luke at all. Which is probably why he did no fucking damage. But also, oh my god, this fight. Um, okay, May can't get there. But she can get here and maybe do some damage. Oof. And May is competently leveled. Fuck! It kind of feels sometimes like Peter's the only useful one here. Because at least he's doing some damage. Um... Okay, let's get you with that spear. You'll probably deal less than four damage the way this has been going. Nope, exactly four damage, but that's fine, Chester. Ooh, I, I've forgotten how tough this fight is. And yes, very memorable because of it. Just not memorable in any good way. Um, <sighs> At least they don't overwhelm you. Okay, May, you've got to stand back. Fucking, and so many critical hits. I cannot risk putting Sarah over here, because if Sarah gets hit, she's dead, and if we lose our healer, we're fucked. Um... Unfortunately, he can't get there. No, with Yabi's defense, he can legit probably still take a hit. Um... Ranged fighters and especially magical fighters are exactly who you want in this fight. It's one in four chance? That's insane. No wonder these things deal so much damage. Okay. Oof. 
this is quite a fight. I. Uh, can Geralt take even one more hit? I'm not sure. We'll pull him back for now. Um, she doesn't... I didn't sell her arrow. Okay, at least equipped her better. We've taken down two legs, and they've taken down two of us. I had legitimately forgotten just how difficult this fight is. Well, Sarah, I wanted you to heal Jaha, but heal May instead. She's not frontline, but we still need her alive, because sometimes she's gonna have to get near the frontline. Well, Sarah got a level up. That's good, at least. does about five damage. I know it's not the most efficient, but it might be worth doing level two. I mean, fucking everyone's front line at that point, Killian. So yeah. Haha, <laughs> Kraken Arms? They've got a range of two. Fucking one shot chasm. Yeah. This is. This is a rough fight. This is the first one that legitimately feels like a boss. Um, get rid of the leg at least. Honestly, Chasm was one of my best damage dealers, so this hurts. Um, there is a point where I may just have to fucking magic out of this. but I want to keep Geralt's health up. Because at this point, he's probably in, like, one hit range as well. Son of a bitch, I know you want to attack. Um... Shit. Chester is actually in a terrible position. Um... 
if he... I'll just stay here. Um... Bye, A Hill. Uh, I love you, and if you're streaming when I'm finished, I'll probably raid you. I assume that's what's happening. Um, I mean, keep in mind, I'll be dead. My entire party is gonna get wiped out. Didn't attack May. Okay. Peter can take one hit. Like, that's shitty, but he can take a hit. Come on, Yubby. You've got insane defense. Oh my god, he took six damage? Yeah. Rip, Sarah! Oh my god, Sarah survived! Um, like, I, I, I'm glad that they don't... That they don't rush you immediately. But frankly, they do enough. The one in four critical hit chance is not helping. Okay. So... Sarah now has to heal herself. Primarily. Sorry, Yabi, but, like, if the healer dies, we're fucked. I don't think it actually matters. Either way, she's in one hit kill range. rather have Boomphus attacking there. Because I suspect Boomphus is going to deal more damage. <laughs> I fucking wish, Juice. Bumpus can take at least one attack. Okay, Slade, you tend to deal a lot of damage. Give me that critical hit. You know what? You did. It didn't do much, but... Second attack? Second crit? No, but... That is the best anybody's managed to do. Rip Peter. Yes! Oh my god, RN Jesus is with me? No, no he's not. Nope. survive this. He can. Shockingly. You know what gold? It really is. Come on, May. Give me two crits. Nope. Okay, May's dead next turn. Geralt becomes level 14. Attack increased by 2. I doubt I'm gonna win this fight. Oh my god!
And I've got almost no ranged attackers left. Um. Oh yeah. No, I, I. I know he's not guaranteed to get those, but at the same time, I feel like Geralt gets them more frequently than most. Geralt's a fucking beast. Yeah, here goes May. Ah, oh, fucking. Yeah, I've, I've had a handful of them. I've been honestly, I've been pretty lucky on my level ups. Um. Slade acts as bait. I do have a plan for this. I don't have a good plan for this, but I've got a plan for this. I wasn't aware of that. It makes sense. Um, and it's a good design choice. How do you keep surviving? What? I'm sorry. Double attacks and both of them crits? This fight is pure bullshit. I was half expecting it to get a second attack as well. Um, the thing is, I can't risk that. I just have to get Bumpus into gar well, not guaranteed, but almost guaranteed survival range. I agree with you, Gold, and yet here we are. Okay, Chester. You probably can't, but can you pull up a crit for me? No! Oh, double attack? No. Bye, slave. Chester, you will be missed. Okay. Are you ready for the yeet spell? Egress is a good spell. It gets you out of any battle, guaranteed. I mean, you're, you're, you're not wrong, Gold. Um, I don't think I'm under level. Um, it's just, it's an insane boss fight. But Egress is great. It gets you out of any battle, guaranteed. Cannot miss, to the best of my knowledge. And you keep your experience. Um, can I even get there now? Because if I can get there now, then I'm very, like, I'm happy to do other shit. Um, right, I can get south of the river now. That's probably worth doing. Yeah, it's worth heading to other places. 
This is gonna cost me a lot, but the important thing is when you egress out of a fight, everybody keeps the experience they earned. Um So yeah, I've got I've got a couple of places I should go before I just immediately um immediately face literally the most uh the most dangerous enemy by a long way that we fought so far. Yeah, this is this is costing me a pretty penny. Look, here's the thing. I still think a 25% critical hit rate is complete bullshit. But as I said, the advantage is characters keep their defense at least. Well, here's the thing. It gives you access to that if, and only if, you can actually beat the fight. Yeah, Chester's level 16, and I think May is level 16 as well. Um, Yabi's a bit underleveled, which honestly isn't the worst thing. Yabi's not that good. I might actually just give someone else the power ring. <sighs> Yabi's great. The problem is, he starts falling behind pretty quickly, and like there's a point at which he never really catches up. Um, after promotion, he's better, but he still struggles. Um, Kassin's a little bit underleveled. I'm surprised Jaha is so low. Um, I might actually just give just give it to Bimpus. Um give the mithril to Peter, since Peter doesn't really need inventory space. Yabby, yeah, you can give the powering to Bimpus. Oh, oh, that is a nice attack boost. Uh, and then Tempest can... can equip the power ring. Now let's go get Luke a longsword. Actually, can we get the longsword in this store? I feel like we can. Yes. It will improve Luke a little bit. Um, it wouldn't help really in that fight, but it will help in other fights. Um, and May still has her wooden arrow shocking me. Okay. Now let's not get wrecked by a literal river monster. I'm glad that Egress yeets the raft along with you. Otherwise that would be a huge problem. So previously we couldn't get to kind of this side of the river. Which is a good place to start doing other things. Um, not much up north. There we go. The Desert Shrine Fight. 
or the desert fight. Now, we fought zombies and master mages and black monks before. This is much more in line with what we're used to, and so I feel like I can do pretty okay here. Um, golems are cool. If I remember correctly, golems also have one of the best dodging animations in the game. Um, which we'll hopefully get to see. I mean, it's frustrating whenever anyone dodges, but it's still a good animation. Uh, gonna have to do a checkerboard because they've got... Uh, they've got blades. As long as they've got blaze to... It's just not worth bunching up too much. Um... You know, he's not much of a tank. But Peter's good for drawing people in and for doing a ton of damage in return. frustration of losing that fight. I mean, I didn't technically lose it. I just, uh, I just yeeted myself out of there. In spite of the frustration of that, I'm kind of happy that as part of the playthrough, it's something that was seen. And speedrunning community, we usually just call it Desert One. There's a oh, there's a way to skip this fight? That's interesting. Um, I'm sure this is obvious at this point. This is not a speedrun. This I'm just doing because, honestly, I like this game. Kazan, why is your movement so shitty? Good job, Luke. Ooh, counterattack. Okay. So literally nothing happened there. Uh, out of curiosity, what is the skip? Yeah. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of shitty movement in this fight. But it's still frustrating. Uh, but yeah, what, what's the what's the skip for this fight? I'm always curious uh, what goes on with speedrunning. Even as a not speedrunner... I find the whole thing fascinating. Everybody's getting crits but me. Probably the one I need to be most worried about because of your fucking blades. If it's using movement tricks in the battle, where you get the power ring to get into the edge of the mountains to the north of this area. Also, Bumpus is level 16 now. Um, bypassing the battle trick. That's really cool. As I said, I really like shit like that. Um, I'm not the most knowledgeable on it, but I find it fascinating. Speedrunning is a really cool community. Uh, then you go into the shrine to get Petro's grandfather following you and Egress. Uh, he just, uh, Peter just got a uh, plus two increase as well, which is rad. I should probably actually watch some speedruns of this game. Because even if I... 
What I find interesting about speedruns is even if you're not interested in speedrunning exactly, um, you still find out interesting things about, about the game, and frequently you find out useful techniques that are just like good ways to play the game. Which makes sense. These are the people most likely to have uh, to have like incredible skills, even beyond the speedrunning. They're just damn good at the game. Come on, Luke, prove yourself. Eh. See, this is kind of the problem with Luke. He's got the same weapon as Bumpus, and is also a swordsman of sword, but he did like half the damage. Um, I remember loving him as a kid, but honestly he's not that amazing. Bubbles, I don't know... What? Are, are you speaking in the voice of Luke? Uh, because if so, I'm sorry. No? Wait, Bubbles, is your name Luke? I don't think I ever knew that. Like, I legit think that's news to me. I don't know anyone's real names. Frankly, it sometimes sounds weird when people use my real name. Oh, I'm not saying it's a secret. I'm just saying I didn't know it. of damage, but it'll do something. Hey, level 40. That's where I need you to be. I mean, I don't. I need you to be way higher level, and I also need I need to get a secret book, because fuck you. I want to make you rad. I mean, probably gold? name for a dog. You know, I'm a huge fan of dogs with people names. Like, nothing makes me happier than, this is my dog, Charlie. Fucking amazing. Fucking hell, May is level 17? HP and attack increased by 2? What a beast. really cool when you manage to pull that off, Copper. Um, I don't know if I have any of the same emotes as Pop Time. Uh, next Pop Time, you... Well, no. I've got... I've got Bar Yuck. And... Um, Pop Time probably has some of Chain's emotes. Um, yeah. Um, but, yeah, Killian, I, I was very lucky with May there. Um... Uh, you know, Bimpus let some of the weaker characters eat the monk. You start taking on the zombie. After promo, she can't get plus two. Is that only her, or is that, like, everybody? 
cowboy corgis. That sounds like the cutest thing ever. Okay. So certain classes can still get it, but may not. one of them, Jaha. Yeah, but Slade is just so much better after promotion that it barely matters. Like, I know it's a good idea to, like, wait for a promotion. Um, not to do it immediately at level 20. But fucking Slade needs it. Yeah, it's a good question, Copper. I'm really not sure. Like, it feels like it must be something like that because there's no way that Pub Time just knows about all of these. Also, who keeps giving Pub Time all of these, all of these subs? I mean, that, that's always a possibility, Copper. Uh, Jaha, you're kind of under-leveled. Let's see if you can eat the zombie. You can, good. That's a bit better. Also slightly under level, but uh, but like it's not terrible. Um, yeah, I've been to a couple of top time streams. Um, it's always a fun time. is going much better than the Kraken fight. Oh god, May! I need you to move. That's a very cute pop, Copper. Um, let's consolidate a little bit because Bimbus is a little low in health. I'm not too worried about Peter because, you know, Phoenix. Um, Geralt also is going to need a heal soon. Seriously? So Pop Time came to one of Sans streams? That is super rad. gonna keep Slade back a little bit rather than rushing him forward. I mean I, I'm not surprised. I feel like that's kind of what Pup Time does. Well, Slade's in the firing line anyway. What is Joker? <laughs> okay, let's get Bumpus a good old heal. Nah, Shaha's doing okay. Uh, 
Um, I do not remember Joker. I played Shining Force 1, but I only played it once. And I don't remember most of the characters. Come on, Yubby. You can eat an archer, can't you? I can. Attack increased by two, defense by two. That's pretty solid. And for once, he actually got an HP increase. Oh my god, Bimbus, you're garbage. I fucking love the golem. Hey, crit! Uh, yes. He throws his helmet at people, which I always interpret, given what his hair looks like, I interpret it as just, he fights by the power of bowl cut. to Jaha, rather. As much as I do want Chasm to level up, it's more important at this point that our front line gets leveled up. Ooh, nice. That was super good, Slate. That was 16. Attack by two. Which Killian was selling me only happens before promotion, so definitely worth it. Oh my god, May! I need you to move. No, he can't reach that zombie. I really like that Geralt has a knife. Like, it's part of his fright. On his belt, he has a knife. But he doesn't care. He just punch. Oof. Ah, Slate's fine. They keep attacking Yabi, and he's got, like... Such good defense at this point. Fuck. That's a problem. Yeah, that's more damaging than anything else. Okay, Jaha, eat gold. Uh, let's make sure we've got the lance equipped. Not that we'd need it, but I want to make sure I've got the right equipment. Pretty much all the time. Chester's also level 17. Both my centaurs are super high level. Um, I believe it's always at least one, unless you dodge gold. Um, so it doesn't have the incredibly powerful, uh, empowering thing that sometimes happens in, um, in Fire Emblem, where it's just like, yeah, you hit, but it didn't do anything.
Okay, let's consolidate a little. Which will also give May an opportunity to, you know, get into a position where she's slightly useful. Um, he has an antidote, but he doesn't have any healing herbs. Let's keep him back a little bit. It really is. Um, j just the feeling of... Oh, I, I, I'm I sorry. Did you attack me? I didn't notice. It's so fucking empowering. Yabi is no longer poisoned. enough that I don't mind keeping him not quite in the front, but fairly forward. Because he, he almost always only takes one damage. Except for magic where he is just completely useless. But hey, we're all useless sometimes. how much the desert reduces your movement. It just makes everything so difficult. Unless you're a flyer, in which case you don't even notice it. Probably the one I'm the most worried about. So I'm going to use Peter, who, if he dies, will be just fine to deal with it. That increased by two, very nice. Still a bit low on health to be risking you up, uh, up front. You know, these golems can really take a beating. Luke, you're not the most powerful, but can you eat this guy? Nope, you cannot. Healed the zombie, and it didn't do the Final Fantasy thing. Where healing a zombie deals damage. Oh! Oh, May's movement is so bad in the desert. I mean, she's not the only one. But it feels real bad here. worried about Bumpus than I am, especially because if he dies, that's it. Um, 
Go how you need a quick deal. Earned it by being in the right place at the right time. Switch Chester to his spear to do some damage to the monk. And there we go. Honestly, Jaha's level is probably the one I'm most worried about this point, at this point. Although now that he's 15, that's that's a much better position to be in. Yeah, heal yourself, buddy. It won't it won't keep. Legit Bumpus, I need you to not die. This is more concerning than I'd realized. Uh, Chester, you don't. You don't need extra experience. You're doing fine, bro. I mean, we all need experience, but... As the highest level member of the party, you don't need the, the extra. Other people need it more. Uh, same with you, Bumpus. Frankly, once again, Kazan needs it. Kazan deserves it. Level 14 mage is not ideal. MP increased by 2 is what I like to see. Once again, build a much more consolidated front. Um, and let me fucking heal Slay. Dude has earned staying alive at this point. Sarah's the only person who's still at level 13.
Okay. Finally, I, I'm just gonna go into mostly not move people this round. Just so that people like May can get into a position where they can actually attack. She doesn't need it for the experience. I just want her to attack because she's rad. Same with you. You know what, Slade? Take the risk. You've proven to be much more powerful than I expect. Except this time. Apparently trying to stab a rock? Not that effective. actually do something again. Seriously, the movement in this desert is the worst. too far. We need it most. Um, and of them, I feel like Sarah's the only one who can even get close. So I'm just gonna wait there. Yeah, May's not getting close. Garrett's not getting there. But Sarah can, and just to guarantee it, I'm gonna use Blast instead of a physical attack. only level 13 now. 14 is much better. Oh! 
That was the end of the fight, cool. Okay, so there's not much to explore around the desert. However, there is this shrine. Well, this cave. Who is it? Petro? Well, who are you? Petro, is he back? Petro, the Sky Orb is our treasure. Give it back. Say something, Petro. Oh, you're not Petro. Who are you? Old man just accuses us of stealing shit from him. Ancient stone? Yes, my family had it for a long time. But it was stolen. His brother, my grandson, took the stone, the Sky Orb, when he left. I think he went to Grand's Island to operate an ancient vehicle. Oh, well, Grand's Island was... kind of destroyed? Or at least large parts of it were. I've lost my purpose to live. Rip old man. He spent all his spare time studying the Sky Orb. It's quite old. He deduced that our ancestors could fly. The last known location of the Nazca ship was Grand's. Anything good here? Ooh. Steel sword is rad. Um, I mean, let me just confirm. Uh, is there anything just to check items? Not really. But I, if I remember correctly, the steel sword is way better. Uh, yes, in fact, I remember the... Um, the sprite as well. Up to 45 attack. And I've got my power ring. Um, okay, so the steel sword is that high up. Good one to get for free, then. I came here looking for ancient treasure and found the sky orb. Also, I discovered how to use the ancient tunnels. But most of them are useless, except for the one to Grand's. Oh ho, an ancient tunnel to Grand's? Perhaps at some point we will be able to return. Perhaps even Grand's Island is not completely lost. To Grand's? Can we get to Grand's Island through it? Yes. Do you want to go there? Really? You'll go to Grand's with me? Let's go now. Pimpus decides to go with him. All I want is the Sky Orb. Just help me get that and then you can leave. Um, well, this is happening rather more rapidly than I expected, but sure. Wait, there's a Grand Island, Nebraska? It's a fucking amazing name. Oh? Can I redo this fight? Uh, honestly, like, I'm not normally into grinding on stream, but I need the experience. So, if you guys don't complain, um, I'm just gonna grind a little bit. Oh, is it one of these towns that's named Grand Island, but it's actually just, like, a town? I, I really hope you guys don't mind that I, since I re-triggered this fight, um, look, 
Killian. I know nothing about Nebraska. M maybe they have a lake? I don't know. Like, they, they, they can have a lake, and in the lake is an island called Grand Island. It wouldn't have to be a huge lake. Is Nebraska Corn Belt? Okay, that tells me everything I need to know. In which case, no, Nebraska does not have any lakes. Nebraska may not even have drinkable water in that case. Also, I am going to confess to something here. When you said Nebraska, my brain did a weird thing and changed it into Alaska. Um, so it took me a while to realize like, why it was so weird that, you know, Nebraska wouldn't have any lakes, because I was thinking Alaska. Um, uh, I wasn't aware that there's a big old aquifer in Nebraska. That's very interesting. Honestly, aquifers are fascinating. Um, I'm going to let them come to me. Uh, the very northern parts of Alaska, yes. You know, Bubbles, that's exactly the kind of bullshit story I tend to love. Uh, those of you who read Kelvin and Hobbes, that, that's the story that Kelvin's dad would tell him about where frozen corn comes from. Sure thing, Killian. Now that Jia has at a more reasonable level, he ain't taking shit from nobody. Let's try to get Geralt higher level this time. Ah, fuck. Ah, oh, got him to level 15. I've never watched iCarly. I think I was too old when it came out. Um, either that or I just didn't have access to the right networks. But I'm super glad it's coming back because I know that people love it. the worst. Bro, what do you think you're gonna do to Yelby? His defense is sky high. Okay. So this is not just going to be about making uh, making Chester even stronger, because he's already level 17. But damn it, I'm not going to 
pass up the opportunity to give him some free experience. Apparently she hosts a show highlighting women in stamp fields. That is, that is super cool, Bubbles. Um, I know very little about Miranda Cosgrove, but it's cool to hear the kinds of things she's doing. getting to level 16 soonish. So let's do some damage there. Um, come on, Luke, prove yourself. Get to level 15. Hey, there we go. Good job, Bubbles. Bubbles, you did it! Fuck yes, May! level 16. Um, Slade is already 16, so let's see that. Sarah is at 14, she really needs to level up. Yabi is at 14, but honestly... Honestly, Yabi is not the biggest issue at this point. Uh, Geralt and Luke are 15. You know what, Bubbles? That's... that's progress. I'm glad you're feeling well enough to get out of bed. Um, and no matter what time it is, I would suggest getting out of bed, because psychologically it's very important to get up. Weird, Copper. <laughs> that is... that's a very positive way to spend some time. Um, Again, there, there, is, there are strong associations between mental well-being and just taking care of your environment. So good job on that. Um, that's, that's actually pretty interesting, Copper. Late with this, you want to get your food. Your favorite Kelvin's dad's story is that babies are made from kids bought at Sears, but Kelvin himself does a blue light special from Kmart, almost as good and a lot cheaper. I think I remember that one. Ah, oh, Kelvin's dad's stories are amazing. Just like all of them are great. Um, honestly, I'm a huge Kelvin and an Obs fan, like massive. Uh, I think it's probably my favorite comic strip. I don't read a lot, but... In fact, no, it's not probably. It's definitely my favorite comic strip. Um... It does take some getting into, but it's definitely worth it. Peter, you really don't need the extra experience got a bunch of level 14 and 15 people here if they need it. Yeah, I've got Detox level 2 now, which is super useful.
I'd like to get Jaha to level 17. Since I like to keep him on the front lines. I know it'll take a while for that to happen. Bubbles. How dare you? How dare you? Also, Killian, that is actually very good to know. I wasn't aware that um, that Detox 2 uh, could cure stun. I'm still tempted to set up a soundboard. Um, just because there are so many moments where things like that, first four notes of Megalovania, would be just a wonderful inclusion. Poison Paralysis and Curse. I wasn't aware that... Because I, I know that heal at, like, level 2 doesn't heal more, it just has a wider range. And I assume Detox was like that. Trigger Fire. I must look, I must look into that. Uh, Bubbles, can you whisper that to me, just that I don't forget? whole party with detox. That sounds... That's the best kind of broken. It's the broken that helps. I also want to get Slade to promotable levels ASAP. Discord is the perfect way to do it. Thank you, Bubbles. Triggerfire is interesting because I have wondered how people do sound commands in chat. And that's super useful. Yeah, 
that's actually surprisingly solid damage. Yabi, use the power of bowl cut. Bubbles? I mean this with all the love in my heart. You're the worst. Jaha level 17? Um. Since this is just a grinding battle, I'm really not worried about HP. Level 16, MP increased by 2, and Agility increased by 2. Both very useful. Luke gets some damage in. Jaha gets to be level 17, so does Bunkers. Maybe. There we go. the more you quote that show. Well, fake quote that show. The sadder I become. Honestly, I am like 90% joking. Because as much as I'm not a big fan of Family Guy, it's turned out to be weirdly iconic. Okay, here's the other thing. I have no way of disproving you because that show also went everywhere a show could go. What? How can the Simpsons mean be from Family Guy? I'm not saying you're wrong, but there was a crossover episode? Oh god, this is getting too complex. My brain's not designed for this. Yabby up front. Homer and Peter were fighting while Homer was trying to drive the bus. You know what? I will say that's incredibly on brand for both Family Guy and Peter in particular. Dude fought a fucking chicken. Whoa. Was it a chicken or a dude in a chicken suit? I literally cannot remember. Uh, is dialogue uh, in the game for shops to refuse to repair cursed equipment, like in Shining Force 1, but it's never shown because they always repair it without sass. That's really interesting. Forget how hard these master monks hit.
I'll check that out later, Bubbles. Oh! I'll check it out. I mean, I don't doubt you're telling the truth. I just think it's bonkers. I want last level two. animation. I'm not even sad that he dodged, because it's such a cool animation. I mean, what did I could, Bubbles. Literally, there's that, like, stone slab that they're standing on. They don't dodge at all. They, like, flip that up into a sheet. And it's way cooler than it has any right to be. It's amazing, a little, like at the beginning of this episode, Kazan was kind of under level. And now he's one of the, uh, one of the strongest, uh, one of, yeah, one of my strongest fighters. Um, uh, Luke needs to be healed. No two ways about it. Yeah. Come on. Let's get slate. I slid into promotion range soon. Dodges. Some of them are clearly blocks. Um, which is kind of weird if you think about it. Rip Sarah. Oof, that hit hard. I've played very little Overwatch, and I never played Genji, and I still know it. Look. I'm sorry, Copper. There's nothing I can do. That's literally the character's name, and I had no opportunity to rename her. Apparently, Sarah is. that sounds very similar to Copper's previous username. Uh, when I played Overwatch, I normally. Uh, I, I really liked playing as Diva. Um, and. then no one ever played a healer. So I decided I'm gonna be the good guy. And I'm I'm gonna start playing Mercy. And the problem is I was terrible as Mercy. 
Um, Sarah Jane Jane. Okay. I, I can see entirely why you get mentally picked, pinged every time. Yeah, I can understand why they did the two of each rule. But I also think it kind of sucks that they force you to do it. Um, honestly, honestly, my biggest problem with Overwatch... My biggest problem with Overwatch is me. I'm fucking garbage in Overwatch. Overwatch. I mean, I, I know if you don't force people to do shit, then it's just gonna be um, six DPS and everyone fighting over who gets to be Genji. Position, heal thyself. game with 5 DPS and you as Brave. Um, that's actually an interesting setup. <laughs> you know what? Anybody who's annoyed by calling it Ogre Watch deserves to be annoyed. So, you know, go ahead, Killian. You're doing God's work. Yeah, Luke, you say that. I haven't played Overwatch in uh, nearly two years. Um, yeah, I, I, I do, I do kind of get that, choose. Honestly, I was okay when I played as Diva. Um, but it was before they made the uh, two support, two tank, two, uh, two DPS rule. And so, or at least where I was playing that wasn't being used. And so that's the reason I tried to get good at Mercy. Because, like, nobody was playing healer. Um, at this point, everything I know about Overwatch, I know because of Chich. Yeah. Honestly, I just don't have fun with Mercy. Uh, I might have a better time with, like, another another healer oh no there are some things I won't even do to suffer for a stream and given that I've played fucking all of putt putt in 12 hours and nearly went mad I'm willing to do a lot to suffer for stream but not that uh, I don't... Yeah, I don't think I ever played much... That uh, much Anna. I mean, that's basically what it is, Bubbles. that turtle, buddy. See how far it gets you. Yeah, fucking critical hit does one damage. Um, 
You know what? Fucking throwers are the worst. Like, why are you even fucking playing the game? I mean, there are people who only want to play a game if they can win. Um, same people who will just like drop out of the game of Overwatch if they're not imposter. Uh, crit only does plus 25% damage. Um, well, thank you for the information, Julia. Um, as I said, it's always very interesting for me to hear from people much more knowledgeable than I am about the game, because I just never knew things like that. And I find it very interesting. So since it doesn't do fractions, if you do less than a less than four damage, the extra quarter just doesn't go anywhere. And that means, like, at this level, Crits against Yabi are meaningless. Shit. That's not actually what I wanted to happen. That can creep by two, that's good. Okay, so since this isn't the main fight, that doesn't end it. Good. Since I'm grinding, I want to get all the experience I can out of it. Fuck! Well, Luke got wrecked. Always plus two? That's super good. I'm sorry, Bubbles. I didn't do it on purpose. I swear I didn't. I wanted you to get more experience. Um, in game, the reason, as Killian points out, is honestly, Birdman just aren't great. Attack by one, defense by one, agility by one. No HP, unfortunately, which is kind of common for this little dude. Uh, okay. May is 17, he's 15. 17, 15. Uh, Chasm is 16. So no one's below 15. Um... So I'm not too concerned about who gets the kill, as long as it's not one of my level 17s, because honestly they don't need it. Ah, Geralt can't get there. Yeah, give it to Sarah. You know what, I, I've never seen Harvey Birdman, but I'd love to. I've heard so many good things about him. Yes, Sarah, level 16. Last increase to level 2. Get fucked, everybody. Okay, that brings us to almost 3 hours. Uh, so I'm going to head back to town. Uh, bring, bring Luke back to life. Uh, wait. Where's my raft? 
There it is. So let's get as close to the town as possible. Rip. Let's bring Luke back to life. Let's save. And then we'll see who we can raid. Um. I mean, Harvey's a damn good name. Um. I did not know that you could change character names. I've only been given the opportunity to name uh, Bumpus and Yabby so far. Eric is a very good name. Uh, okay. So, let's see who we're going to be raiding. Um, who's online at the moment? Uh oh oh Cahill's on okay we're raiding Cahill then um yo Cahill's doing some animation that's rad um uh I always like to make Chester my Pegasus knight but since you know Eric that's the right name for Pegasus knight um. I think the big thing is I never really liked Eric. Um, but yeah. Um, say hi to Cahill for me. Uh, hit him with all your love. Uh, thank you so much, all of you, for joining me. Um, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, I got completely yucked by that... Um, by that Kraken fight. But it was kind of fun to see. Because that's something that happens in these games. Uh, I hope you all have a lovely day going forward. Um, uh, everyone wants the casters of creeds, but Eric is... Is Eric the best knight in the game? That's good to know. Um, yeah, I hope you all have a great evening. I'll be doing this again next week, Wednesday, 5.30 Eastern Time. Uh, Saturday, 5.30, I'm doing... Uh, I'm doing Stardew Saturday, where we're making really good progress to uh, towards... The last of the, uh, the last of the bundles, and Sunday two thirty Eastern. I'm going to be returning to Baba as you. A lot of fun. Um, you know what, bubbles do any amount. Anyway, say hi to Cahill. Drop your love, and I will see you all around. Ciao.